All right, we're just heading into Parkwood East. And, um, you know, this is definitely a planned development. Uh, it looks like a fairly large plat. I would suggest that most all the homes were built in the same time frame. Um, you're going to have a selection of split level and ranch. I doubt that you'll have any typical two stories, but sometimes that happens uh, in a neighborhood like this where somebody chooses to build up. So because of the age of the home, the age of the neighborhood, I would suggest you're going to have homes conforming to uh, ranch style homes and split levels. We're at 455 Conifer, right in the front yard on the main street here. Um, I would definitely tell you that the roof looks uh, aged and uh, there's a lot of moss. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad roof. It just means that we haven't had a homeowner taking care of it. Um, you know, the yard isn't terrific. And you're next to probably a creek over here. Nobody else does. Okay, we've got a little wood rot down here on the garage. And... Uh, you know, siding doesn't look horrible. Um, Art is wet, 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 but we've had a lot of rain. Um, definitely you have older windows here. And um, again, maybe because the, the uh, I don't know what the VA is going to say about this. Uh, the house backs to a fairly busy road, so road noise uh, on this side of the street. All right, so um, front porch, I do like that. It's a covered front porch. The deck actually looks in pretty good shape. Um, again, you have older windows. It's apparent there was a pet of sorts in here chewing the uh, window seals. And as we noticed um, in the pictures, the, you know, the carpet definitely needs to be something. Um, potentially, it could be cleaned but there is a strong uh, odor in the house, and I'm going to say it's a pet odor. Wood-burning fireplace. Um, the kitchen is a nice layout, but uh, once again, you have older windows throughout, and it looks like some of those windows actually have broken seals so that um, they're not quite as efficient as they would be, and that's where we get this kind of fogging. Um, appliances are probably... I don't know that they don't work, but uh, the range definitely is original. I would suggest the dishwasher and the refrigerator were um, replaced at some point. Pantry in the kitchen. Eating kitchen area. So there, there isn't a real formal dining room, um, but you do have a fairly spacious eat-in kitchen. And um, again, baseboard heat, but you are on a crawl space, so if you wanted to update that, that would be fairly easy to do to put vents in the floor or you certainly could put vents from the attic down. Um, the carpet in the family room is not as bad a shape as the living area. It's just we, we have a strong probably pet odor here. Um, maybe the slider was installed at a later date so we have a new slider compared to the other windows. Uh, popcorn ceilings, that would be something that, uh, although not necessary, it certainly improves the value of the home to replace the ceilings. All right, we'll head down the hallway here to the bedrooms. Um, sorry, there is no power, so seeing what we have, we won't see that, but looks like at some point this hall bathroom was updated. We have a tile floor, tile counter, new faucet, and a tile surround the tub. You saw that in the photos. Um, the pink bedroom, nice size, probably a nine by 10, 10 by 10 room. Um, the bedroom with the football sports stuff. Again, this is not bad size, probably a 10 by 11 room. Um, carpet in the master bedroom is a different color. This was probably the original carpet. It's a nice size master. You do just have the one closet. Um, the vanity is open to the bedroom, so should somebody get up early and need to get ready in the morning, the person in the bedroom is going to be exposed to whatever noise is going on there. And then this bathroom is um, a stand-up shower only. Again, I apologize. There's no light in this house. This is the garage. It is uh, what is called a two-car garage. Um, I would say most people consider it a one and a half car garage. Your laundry room or laundry area is in the garage. 
Um, it looks to me as if the uh, hot water heater is newer. Um, there is a hatch here, um, although you can see all those trusses, probably not a great deal of storage up there unless you got really creative and just kind of walked through the trusses. Um, but, you know, the garage would be nice size.